With SEO, as in any profession, it's important to keep abreast with the field as it evolves. What was once common knowledge can become outdated, and it's up to you to stay up to date, but further to be able to tell the difference between outdated advice and current knowledge. Hi, I'm Mike Phillips, and in this video, we're gonna be discussing obsolete SEO tactics. We're gonna talk about what they are, why they're important, and why you need to know the difference between them. Let's get started. In other videos, we've discussed how algorithms evolve. They are constantly updated, sometimes transparently, sometimes not. But change is constant. The reason for these changes is because algorithms evolve over time. They are changed, rewritten, and oftentimes self-learning to improve the quality of the results that they give to the human searchers out there. Part of this evolution is that outdated practices are weeded out, replaced with best practices and newer ways of measuring quality. These changes are important for you to know because that changes which strategies and which tactics will work and which ones are important for you to prioritize. Oftentimes, misconceptions are not bad information, but merely information that has since been outdated. This is where your commitment to continued learning is so important. You need to stay abreast as these changes take place and to be able to know which changes signal the retiring of old knowledge. What you knew two years ago may not be in play today, and what you learned today may not be in play two years from now. Outdated SEO tactics have a significant business impact. Using outdated tactics will result in demotion in search engine rankings, as well as decreased authority. In this way, modern algorithms are not just replacing the old knowledge, but actually penalizing those who do not stay abreast with the changes. While there are many things that used to work that are no longer current, I want to focus on three key outdated practices that may still be common knowledge. These are ones I want you to know are not what you should be doing as current best practice. The first outdated practice is keyword stuffing. If you hadn't heard, this has long since been outdated by Google algorithm updates. For a long time, algorithms have learned what keyword stuffing looks like and is able to identify it, no matter how cleverly we try to hide it from the humans that consume the content. Unnatural text combinations are easily picked up by the algorithm. They see this as an attempt to circumvent or hack the ranking. So the result is that they will demote and punish your content, despite if it has other authoritative signals. The important thing to remember is that keyword stuffing is from a bygone era of SEO. That is no longer best practice, and you have much more important and effective things to be focusing on. The second outdated practice is backlink buying or links from directories. At one point in time, the volume of links was the number one factor that helped you rank. Nowadays, it's the quality of those links that is weighed most heavily. In many ways, the old adage is part of the new advice. Quality is more important than quantity. The challenge here is that quantity was much easier to achieve. You used to, and still can, purchase backlinks. The skill you should be developing today is knowing how to build those quality relationships and value-added connections. Those links are the ones that will elevate your content. Focus on building links the proper way. The third outdated practice is producing thin content that's optimized for robots, not humans. The old practice was producing tons of low quality, high keyword content. Nowadays, that simply does not work anymore. In fact, it will demote your site and at the worst, make it not findable at all. Algorithms have gotten really good at learning from people. They know the type of content that real people consume and how they look when they're consuming it. Connecting this human behavior to the content that generates that behavior has driven this change. Your focus should now be about providing the deep value and insight at each stage of the buyer's journey that your customers are looking for. The behavior that they will exhibit when engaging with that content is exactly what the algorithms are looking for. Quite simply, the algorithms are now prioritizing content written for humans. These three outdated practices are certainly not an exhaustive list. There have been so many changes to algorithms over the years that there are 
dozens, possibly hundreds of once best practices that are now outdated. The important thing for you to know is that a lot of time and money can be wasted investing in old tactics. Not only do they fail to advance your content, they will actually be a detriment to your goal of driving more organic traffic. Be sure to consistently invest and reinvest in SEO knowledge. Change is the constant, but you can stay on top of it. Your homework for this lesson is to reflect on some of your own preconceived notions. Perhaps you're coming to this course as a novice who has never considered doing SEO before. Perhaps you're someone who has done SEO before and this is a refresher course. In either case, you've probably heard something about SEO elsewhere. I want you to reflect on the preconceived knowledge that you had. Even if it's from a good source, consider double checking whether it's still relevant. Did you yourself hold any of the three tips I shared with you today as current knowledge? In fact, those are outdated now. There are many opportunities for us to become outdated with our knowledge and accidentally have a detrimental effect in our SEO work. Constantly self-evaluating and investing in educational courses like this one are how you avoid the pitfalls of using outdated tactics and advance the value you are able to provide through your work. As an SEO specialist, your goal should always be to stay at the cutting edge of your field. The only way to do that is to constantly learn and relearn and accept that what you do today may not be relevant tomorrow. You need to be comfortable with change. You've reached the end of the video. At this point, you now know three obsolete tactics that were once mainstream practices. You also understand the pitfalls of implementing outdated SEO tactics, and hopefully you've established a mentality for constantly reevaluating what you know today and a commitment to staying abreast with the changes in the field. Thank you so much for learning with me. I'm Mike Phillips, and remember, the only constant in SEO is change.